So I had a student that was struggling in a lot of areas, both academically, socially, emotionally. So we did the Values and Actions Youth Survey. What was powerful about that was, he said, you mean I'm all these things? Because all along he's heard the opposite. This is what's wrong, this is what needs to be fixed. Not in those terms, of course, but that's what society and the education system was, was giving this child. So that kind of was a transformative moment, I believe, for that child. And so this same student today, he'll be graduating from our school, and uh, he's a different kid. It, it's been transformative for him. So this was for part of our Happiness Week. We had Happiness Heroes. So these were students that classmates chose as showing the strength of zest and, and joy. It's a week about happiness and joy, making people feel happy. The first year it wasn't that big, not really the whole school knew, just our class. And now this year we've improved a lot and the whole school knows. We were here and we were just starting to put up the banners and put up the walls, um, our happiness wall. You know, you could see the kids coming and looking and wanting to know what we were doing and their attitude changing almost instantly when they saw a sign that said, um, I will make someone smile today. I will give someone a hug today. Um, I will do something for a stranger. Everything changed. It's almost like everything becomes lighter, everything becomes simpler. And in the world today, everything is really complicated and it's a really difficult world to maneuver. So why not just try and do things out of happiness and joy and kids get that. It's really great to see the young kids get that because that's just trickles into better things and better living and you know being able to handle the bad because you know the good and you have tools so. I like to think that possibly planting those seeds of when you do this it shows that you have gratitude or that you are kind or that you are honest or you courage or bravery all those those strengths that that are named those 24 strengths I'm seeing it in some of the report card comments from teachers so teachers will comment on strengths that students have when they communicate to parents so this young man with his speech today I said why did you write this speech he said well kindness is really important to me and I said to him that's that's a strength that's the strength that you have, to be kind. Now for where we look today, there seems to be too much talk about the bad and not enough about the good. And that is my first goal, spread goodness. Next time you see someone struggling with something, ask if they would like help. Hold the door open for people, be kind to everyone. Ask your mom and dad to take you to the fire station to thank them for being on call every day and night, every day of the year, or do something simpler like next time your friend is wearing a cool new shirt, tell them you like it. Or the next time someone makes a good play while you're playing a sport in gym, make sure you to say that it was awesome. This is our sensory room and it can be used by all students and our special needs. So here's an example of a child that's not a special needs, but feels they need a break. So he asked for the balls to be rubbed on his back and we have a little schedule over there of things that they can do to uh, decompress or energize. So here's an opportunity that he's taken a fellow peer and asked for some sensory time. So this provides a time for some kids to come in here and have some self-regulation and learn how to cope within the classroom. And we actually have just like little fidget toys within the classroom, things like that, little uh, push-ups the, on their chairs. So those are things that we've tried to incorporate in the classroom. I think it helps students understand themselves and how they feel at certain times. We've had situations of they're drawing their bodies and what reactions they feel within their bodies when they're getting angry or worked up and needing that break. So that, that's one example where a child talked about clenching his fists or um, things like that 
and makes them much more self-aware and maybe realizing they need these breaks, sensory self-regulation breaks. That's what I'm finding in my role, that it makes them a little more aware. I see it resonating in our school and with the students um, because my son is in grade one and you know he's come home on, on his own accord to come and tell me about how he has the gift of uh, gratitude because I, he says, because I appreciate beautiful things. And so for myself, knowing that about him, you know, it's really nice to see him recognizing that in himself so that even when he sees that maybe somebody else is learning to read faster than him or, you know, maybe somebody else is getting an answer that he doesn't know, that he still has that gift of gratitude and that's something that makes him special. So this is the uh, character strengths board that we created at the beginning of the year. And you can see on the hands over here, the students have all identified what they believe to be their stronger character strengths. Although some of us feel like some of those character strengths have changed or maybe evolved or they've identified other strengths that they wish to grow. So it's sort of a changing board. Um, my strength I think is like zest because I think enthusiasm and leadership kind of falls under that. It's very important to have developed because you can help cheer on your classmates and teammates. I think my self-control because sometimes if I disagree or I'm a little upset, I don't control myself as well as I think I should be. It's important for me to know my strengths so it helps me know more about me. Mine is courage because I showed a lot of courage this year. I could do things in front of people more because I was always really shy. Uh, my strength would have to be leadership because especially in group work or teamwork I can kind of use my leadership strength to help um, like bring ideas into the conversation and even if it turns out to be wrong it sometimes helps the group compromise on something. It's one thing for students to know how you know how they learn best but the character strengths brings in more of that whole person sort of look at it, like that whole body, mind, and spirit. It made an even stronger connection to our religion theme of being called by name to be a light in the dark and knowing our strengths as people and how we can use those strengths to be better people and to be better towards others and to put out into the world what we can. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. We make that connection between all of that. I was doing some of that already, so when the character strengths became an initiative for our board, it was like, poof, you know, worked, in, worked perfectly. I'd say that my strength is love because I find love very important um, because when you love, you're showing also showing compassion and forgiveness and you're being, you're being kind and caring and you make the other person feel very special. I think honesty because it shows a lot of integrity if someone's like watching you, 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 you can be able to be trusted. I think my strength is empathy because when my friends are sad, I can feel that they're sad. Or when they're happy, I can feel that they're happy. Well, my strength is teamwork because I love playing with friends and just hanging out and having fun with them. A couple of years ago when I was playing with my friends, they had a problem that they couldn't like do their project. So I um, looked up some research for them and I helped them by doing teamwork. So our grade sixes and grade ones are reading buddies and together we've decided to work on an activity on strengths we want to grow. The idea of this activity is you recognize what each other's strengths are and we are identifying strengths that other people have that maybe we want. how we might negatively see something and how we can turn that into uh, a positive, you know, looking at that from a positive light. It really can change your whole outlook on how you view your students and, and each other. It creates that just far more positive climate in the classroom, in the school. Our goal is to 
uh, develop those God-given strengths, not just in our students, but in our staff and in myself as well. And I think these encounters, when you have these encounters with people, you learn more about, about that individual, of course, but then on re upon reflection, you also learn more about yourself. Maybe you could have handled it differently or maybe next time. Hopefully that, that every relationship that we encounter with one another, we come away and we learn more about ourselves and the other individual. Strength.